Hello and welcome to week 7 of the course. I am Dr. Bharti, Associate Professor at the National Law University, Dwarka, Delhi. This week we have two modules which pertain to waste management and plastic and biomedical waste. So we start with the first module which is waste management. The term waste management refers to a process which includes segregation, collection, transport, processing, recycling or disposal of waste which basically means the monitoring of various components of waste. In contemporary times, zero waste is the basic objective but as the ne next best objective, the three R's are aspired to be adhered to which is to reduce, to reuse and to recycle with zero waste as the residue. The waste rules have been formulated under the in Environment Protection Act of 1986. There is a significant place which is given to the local authorities on this issue. A number of schemes have been mooted on this which include the Swachh Bharat Abhiyan and so on which pertain to the sanitation and to the uh, improvement in the health and civic facilities uh, which also have a proximate connection to waste generation. Plastic and biomedical waste is the next module which is also a very important component of waste in today's times. Plastic waste, plastic because of its different characteristics, because of it being light, of it being of low cost, of being non-permeable and of being durable, it lends itself easily to today's operations. However, it must be remembered that thousands of years are taken to decompose it. Presently, there are the plastic waste rules of 2016. There is also the biomedical waste that is a matter of utmost concern. In fact, this waste if not treated may lead to infections, it may lead to injuries and what not. There is the need to treat it before disposing it of finally and there may also be incineration of the biomedical waste. There are rules to this effect which are the biomedical rules of 2016.